Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the fourth video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Knuckles tutorial series. Uh, this video is going to cover Carnival Night, which is a lot quicker and easier with Knuckles than it is with Sonic. Uh, so, you might think that as you exit this tube, you're going to go to the left and get the speed shoes. Uh, you don't actually need to. They're pretty much useless. So what we're going to do instead is jump from here out to see the, where the red spring is, just as you go past it, uh, do a glide. And much like in Angel Island, these red springs actually have quite a large activation area out in front of them. Uh, so you can see I'm going to land nicely in the middle of it. Uh, as long as you actually go past the red spring itself, there's a wide range out in front of it that actually activates the spring. And all you have to do now is hold right for the next little while. Pretty much up until you go down this slope here. Uh, just as you get to the bottom of it, it's worth tapping left. Uh, just as you go over those anti-gravity platforms. Uh, because if you hold right all the way, uh, you won't actually land on that uh, ramp cleanly. So that just helps you get all the way up to the top here faster. Uh, once you get up here, you actually want to, roughly about here, just tap left briefly uh, so that you don't run all the way up. You want to be a little bit lower, just about there. But still out of the way of those bats. Um, and then there's a breakable platform here. Uh, as long as you have enough momentum this way when you land, that uh, you'll start a roll. If you hold down, as you touch this platform, it'll break it immediately. This does not count as a, as a spinning jump. So you have to press down to break that platform immediately like that. Uh, then land, spin it, jump out this way. Uh, from about, oh, let's say 5 o'clock is where you want to jump down towards these platforms here. Uh, as you go up the second of these ramps, quick jump, and then as close as you can get to that ceiling without actually hitting it is when you should glide. Like that. So ideally you land on this platform uh, rather than grabbing the wall here and climbing up, which is a little bit slower. Another spin dash here, and then you go up to this clam enemy. When you land, you want to jump and glide such that you land on kind of the right half of the enemy, so from here uh, you hit the left half of it and you just take damage instead. So bounce off it like that, wait for this platform to come out of the way, spin ash, jump over, jump and glide over this one, then spin ash again. Uh, now here there's a bat enemy and there's going to be a barrel coming in from this side. What you want to do when you land go to the right, Qu uh, briefly tap left so that uh, you don't actually kill this bat enemy as it swoops in this way. Jump over the top of it onto the barrel and then up onto the next platform. Like that. And then right as you land on this platform, jump off and out towards the checkpoint, which is the way that the, um, the bat's going. And then while facing left, do a super glide off its head, and that sends you flying up this way, and then switch to right so that you curve over the spikes that are up here. Looks a little bit like this. And then just spin dash over to the boss room. Um, this boss is pretty simple, so you want to line up with this kind of pipe in the background here and the boss will appear here just above you and to your right. Spinning top always goes out this way uh, and it's going to always hit, I think it's this square first every time. Um, just after it hits that square you then want to press right so that the screen starts shifting back up and as the boss moves into line with this gap in the floor, actually when it gets just to the right of that gap, 
uh, you should jump into it. See, see it's slightly offline with the gap here. And if you do it right, and then just get, just let it inch a little bit further right each time, then this spinning top is basically caught in a loop like this. And you get all four hits very quickly. Uh, hold down here. Uh, that makes the signpost hit the ground quicker. And then for Act 2, there are five uh, speed boosters in the first sequence here. So, jump into the ceiling like that. So there's five of these speed boosters here. As you go through this second one, jump and hold left. You'll get absolutely flung out of here. But what's what should happen is that you miss this corner, you go just over that corner, and you don't attach to the barber's pole here. As soon, so as soon as the, as soon as you kind of start arcing, not not quite that drastically, but um, start arcing away from the barber's pole, then switch to holding right. So you still want to keep as much momentum as you can through here. Uh, this wall is actually kind of unique. Uh, if you just climb up this wall normally and do a spin dash from here, uh, you'll actually be facing left instead of right. So there are two ways around this, and one is to jump from about here and glide so that you slide on a little further along the platform, and you can spin dash right safely from there, or else you just climb up and just walk to the right a little bit before you spin dash. So I've chosen the the sliding method there. Uh, so, with this one, uh, there's no need to jump from a super steep angle. Um, you're going mostly horizontally at this point anyway, so you only really need just the angle here where it's quite low. You get a little bit of extra height, uh, but more importantly, it lets you carry it all the way across that gap. Um, now these bumpers are, it's, it's not worth trying to predict exactly where they're going to be. Uh, you just kind of have to come in and play whatever you're given. Uh, in any case, you're going to go through this first set. Uh, and it just, this one here, uh, where that one is basically determines what happens next. So if it's over here, then what can actually happen is you get knocked downwards off this one and then upwards off that one, and you can actually fly through the other two sets without any trouble. But in this case, this is just going to knock me straight into the ground. And now what I'm looking for is for this one to move far enough away from the ground that I can spin dash through it. If I do a fast enough spin dash, I can get through one, two sets like that. Uh, you actually want to jump from flat ground here. Uh, when you jump up to the platform up ahead, oh, I actually jumped off not quite flat ground. If you jump from flat ground, you'll actually end up here, hitting this wall and moving up. Uh, and you can just slide straight onto this platform and jump into the cannon. Uh, this also works. Uh, the very first thing it will, this cannon will do is rotate to the right. You want the very first angle that's at roughly that angle. Uh, if you get the second angle, you'll shoot straight into the spikes. So you don't want that one. Uh, you just kind of have to know exactly when the cannon's going to tilt and shoot out accordingly. Uh, and then you can, again. 
that you kind of have to play by ear a little bit. Uh, let me spin Nash through here. There's 12 speed boosters in this set. So count groups of four. And then once you're through all of them and you're underneath this ramp, jump into the ceiling and hold nothing. And you basically end up going right between these two boxes and collect both of them at once without breaking momentum. As you get right near the bottom here, do a glide and slide into the speed boosters. As soon as they catch you though, let go of the slide. Because if you let go of the slide too late when you're over here and not in the influence of the speed boosters anymore, uh, you'll just stop dead. Uh, now this one has 25, so again, counting groups of four, and once you've counted six groups of four, then jump. And then just land on the capsule, and then land neatly on the teleporter once you get control back, and that is Carnival Night done. So now I'll go back to the start and play back the entire stage without any interruptions.